Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche where today oh, what are we up to? Lots and lots and lots of rearranging of things. It's a Sunday as well, so that means we've got the mini game to do. Because the thing is that Higgins. Let's see, there's my horse around. Oh, it's so much easier to get on my horse in the morning. There we are. Yes, that Higgins, he, he's winning all the time. No, he's not winning. I'm winning. But he's... Basically, it got reset at the beginning of the year, and now I've lost my lead over him. So I have to, like, keep that lead going. Which means I have to do the mini game. So let's have a look and see how far ahead of Higgins I am at the moment. So I am about 700 points ahead. Which is fine. We want to be more points than that ahead if we can, so let's inspect these things. Uh, so that's two found very quickly. The rest will probably be much harder. Look at the end of the sword. Anything's like wider, that shouldn't be. Nope. Oh my goodness, everything looks fine. I'm clearly not seeing whatever this is. Uh, uh. No pressure or anything, she lab. No pressure. Slightly different. I don't know. Can't see it, whatever it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna throw this one, I think. Mm. Sometimes you just can't see the nose in front of your face. Just trying to line everything up with my eyes to try and see if I can find any difference. Guys, I'm really struggling with this one. I zoom in a bit, a little bit. Mm. It's just frustrating at this point, isn't it? I failed. I ran out of time, guys. Ran out of time. Like right, that, that, that. Why couldn't the last one be that easy? <laughs> it's obviously making them all more easy for me because I, I struggled so much with the last one, clearly. Because those, like, those other three were super, super duper easy, and then that first one was ridiculously hard. But we got some points more against Higgins, which is all I wanted. Of course, getting really warm in here. I've got a stream still to do. <laughs> Whew. It's warm. Okay, guys. So next thing I want to do now I've done that is uh, pop whisper away. Make sure that, that uh, my Karma Llama is... Is trained. Still haven't named the Karma Llama. I keep, I keep trying to think about who would want to be a Karma Llama. 
No, none of my patrons have come forward yet wanting to be the llama, so... To be fair, I haven't actually asked them on Patreon if they want to be a llama, but uh, we shall see. So I was in the middle of doing this pathway, wasn't I, yesterday, and I, I put this one a little bit out of place. So I'm just going to carry on with that. More rearranging. We'll get it right. By the end of this episode, hopefully I'll have a, a much improved workshop area. I'm still trying to work out how I'm going to flare this out into a, um, I may need to get more marble actually, how I'm going to flare this out into like a, an area to put a, a fountain. Now it might, it might be a good idea to actually buy the fountain first and then work around it. Okay, Whisper, let's see if we, do we have money at the moment? We've got 30k. Oh, someone's also sent us an email, so let's have a look. The commerce built- Ah, oh, another robot from my robot army. Yes. Okay, I'll- I'll... Not put that down for now. I'm just gonna get a few more uh, marble things and also a fountain for my yard. Because we're looking posh now. We need a fountain if I can get it. It was like there's an elephant fountain, but I want this one, and I know I'm gonna be buying it at a super high price, but I don't care. <gasps> oh, that's the one we need. Do we? Yeah, we need it. We really do. We need it right now. I need it right now, guys. I know I'm spending two thousand over the odds, but I need it right now. I need to spend all my money on making a, a fountain area for my for my place. It's far more important than upgrading my wood income. See, I've been really, really good and I haven't done hardly any frivolous spending and I, I saved up for the land expansions and I saved up for my house. I saved up... Oh, hang on. I want to... Move the coop as well. Hang on. I did all of that. I was really, really good. I was really good and really restrained. So now I'm going to spend on every little stupid thing I see. Because I have earned that right. Okay, let's go to the coop. La coop. And I'm going to move that over here next to the tree line. So that I can continue the path up this way. Might still need a little bit of tweaking and moving around, but that's the general idea of what I'm doing back there, and I think it's going to work quite well. A little path up to the cowshed gate. Just so things make a bit more sense, I suppose. And then this area here will be my, like, cooking, drying rack sort of area. Blenders will probably go there and everything like that. And I'll probably surround it with, like, grapevines and stuff. I've got planters around it at the moment, but I will probably change that. So these guys, you can go into their gate there. So I'm just going to actually put in the... Um, the marble there. Just so you guys can see what I what I was intending to do. So I'm going to put like a marble plank there and there. And then hopefully they'll join up. You watch. You watch it be two. Oh no, it doesn't line up. Okay, the pen will come forward a bit still. And it will go across a little bit. So I'm going to need to put the pathing in, I would say probably about here. And then we're going to need to move the cow pen so that it's in line with the path. Getting things to line up in this game is not simple. move these out of the way I can just get the basic uh, 
idea there and get back over there and try to move the cow pen. Hey, Whisper, we've got to go back to A&G's again. I, look, I know we've been there twice already. Stop being cheeky. Honestly, these horses. I need to, I need to get more loyalty. Gives me a load of cheek all the time. Right. Oh, QQ, you're you're minding the store today, are you? Very nice. Um, I don't need I don't need any more fountains actually. I just need to move this cow pen. Really? Why do none of the entrances line up with the grid system you've put in? Oh, 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 oh. The cow shed gate needs to line up with the grids and the door to the house needs to line up with the grids. Anything else, you don't need to worry so much, but like anything that you would want to put a path up to needs that. Ha oh, ha! It's so frustrating. That's not too bad, actually, up to there. How am I supposed to make this all beautifully laid out with lovely paths and things if... if grr. Now, one thing some of you guys have been saying is that you've put, like, marble all the way around the house. So, sort of like this. So that it's, like... Um, it doesn't... I can't really... You're supposed to be able to put marble underneath the house, but then I think you have to do that while the house is out of the way. Which I may not be able to do, I'm not sure. But I think you can put a big marble base down and then it'll cost a fortune though. So I might need to do that when I have a bit more money because I really don't have much at the moment. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough to make the area for the fountain. Which is going to be... I guess around where Lara is, I think. Yeah, around here. I'm going to have, like, I'm going to flare everything out a bit. And make a space for a fountain. I don't know how big this fountain is actually going to even be. But we're just going to make this sort of square little area here. Possibly move wee Lara out of the way. You can just stand over here for a minute, okay? And let's see how big this fountain actually is. It's going to be massive, you watch. Well, not too bad at all, actually. Oh, please. Why does nothing sit central? Oh my goodness me. Is there a way we can half move it? I need to, you need to be able to move things half squares, I think, or something, something. That's going to drive me up the wall. Why would you make this like this? I think my best, my best shot then is to maybe, um, yeah, I'm gonna pop it down and see what it looks like. Oh, it looks so nice as well. But yeah, nothing centers and it is absolutely infuriating. I am so in love with like so much of this game but that is the most infuriating thing it's like you're trying to make something look nice and you've got to put it like this doesn't even it's three and a half 
tiles wide and three and a half tiles the other way. It needs to be two by two or three by three, not three and a half by three and a half. Like, why would something be three and a half by three and a half? Oh my goodness, so bad. Okay, let's see if you'll go maybe over here. So you're kind of by, by the side of the house, maybe. That might be a nice place to put a fountain. Or like some somewhere within my food area. Could put it in the food area. Let's just take this. Put it in the middle of here. Again, it probably needs to be centered though. Maybe not so much in this area. Maybe you would get away with it a bit more. I'm not certain. I'm going to leave it there for now. I'm a little disappointed with that one. Let's put it that way. Because that was something that I spent a lot of money on to get a nice... Um, and I won't be able to sell it back for that much. To get a nice looking effect. And uh, it really, really has disappointed me with the sizing on it. Like... Just grr. Just grr is all I can say about that. Have any, have any of you, like, found that when you've been designing um, areas in this that you are really struggling to get things to look right? Because they're just not centering on each other? Ugh. In my irritation, I've picked up another lamp post, which I didn't mean to do. Because I'm going to have to recolor them all with pigment, I think, if I pick them up. Which, never mind. I'm going to need to, like, totally start selling things to be able to carry on the sort of work I'm doing here. Um, and I've noticed that none of my machines are actually doing anything right now. Mostly because I'm trying to extend all of this conductive wooden flooring out the other side. Let's see what I can do. Just getting them under the machines as much as I can. Oh, of course, that one wasn't turned. Grrr, again. Grrr, So I think that's going to need one. I think that's going to need one. That's going to be the way in, probably. There'll be planters along here. I need to move. Starting to get there. Just a bit. Going to need lots of different uh, types of flooring, though. It's going to be quite interesting. I mean, maybe just by sight, that's not going to look so bad. I don't know. Whisper, I love you, but you're so in the way. Oh, uh, that's she lab dead for the night. Okay. So we're going to just carry on. It's Monday, so we can take a commission today. Which we might need, because we have no money, because we spent it all on a giant fountain that doesn't even fit in the place I wanted it to go. Uh -huh. It's going to run down there. I'll have a look at my mail in the morning. That'll probably be my uh, reward for doing the... Well, for botching slightly the inspection task. 
I guess I will never know what the uh, mistake with that one was. That sword. Okay, Mr. Anton. Um, I don't actually know whether I have any crystals for you today. I don't. I really need to start bringing crystals because it's annoying me that I've not got them. Um, someone also said that there'll be a satchel in the schoolyard because everything... Oh no, hang on. Hey kids, get off all my commissions. They're all mine. Oh, you can have all of them. They all suck. No, they actually all suck. I'm not taking any of those. They all suck. I'm waiting for the double S rank ones. Sorry, Remington. Hey, Sonia. Okay, let's see what's in the post then. Another robot! Okay, let's go and uh, oh, let's grab these first, actually. And then we're gonna go and um, make the robot army! Add to its ranks. You've got two new soldiers, guys. Eventually, I'll give you your own room. Robot army. I really need some stuff for attack though, actually, don't I? Because we have nothing. We have nothing for attack. We don't even have enough stuff for stamina or health either. Got the porcelain water holder that'll give me like three attack. I've got a weird glass jar somewhere. I'm sure I've got a spare weird glass jar that would give me some more attack as well. I won't worry about that quite at the moment because I've got enough to do. It could go here actually. It could be like sli slightly off center in its own little bit. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm just getting this back to having the right uh, planters in the right place and the right tiles in the right places as well. Just moving everything about a little bit. But basically the difference between having something in your house and having something in your yard or having something in the museum. If you have something in the museum, you obviously get museum rewards, which I've now got all of, by the way. If you have something in your, your the museum or your yard, either way, then people can view it and you get some social with them, which is always lovely to get some passive social points. Um, I guess that needs to move somewhere. Oh yeah, because if I do that, I can have... I'm actually thinking it'd be better to have the lampposts kind of amongst the planters like this. I'm kind of thinking it should be four wide. I'll pop this up here. I've got a few bits of uh, marble that I do need to move around anyway. I've got potentially some more planters that I need to put in places as well. Um, got more boards that I need to take up. Oh my goodness me. Thinking one there. Dig up some bits of marble and then we can put the street lamps down in the right place. So for example, I'm going to put one down here. She's thinking of popping Lara just there. Her own little, her own little bit by the door. I could have two Laras. I could have one to each side. But I don't think I will. Okay. 
Stick into my chair. This is this is the joys of summertime. Right, so we'll pop these ones here and here. Oh. Ran out. another one quickly so you can just sort of start making the, the basic shape of the path at least and there's one over here street lamp that needs to come this way so I've got my kind of main way in to the what will be the cooking area and also to the workshop area that may need to move a bit I might try and get things a little bit more centered with the fountain and the cooking area and everything a bit later on, but we can always move things around. Not a problem, but you get the idea. So all this conductive wooden flooring needs to come up, it needs to go down into the workshop area. to go there so let's see how that's gonna look got a couple of lamp posts now in my inventory that i accidentally pulled up but we'll get those uh, sorted a little bit later so now i kind of have this area here that i really don't have much um too much of a use for yet I kind of thinking like a lamppost in the corner over there might be nice. Mm. Okay, so I definitely think that the pathway into... Right, I think what we need to do here is split the path into an area that will go to the... Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. I want a pathway to split, so I want, say, a path here. And that will go into... Oh, it's getting a bit complicated, isn't it? But fine, this might be a, a, a chance to actually display things in my yard. We can have display items here, like for relics and things. Good grief, it's like already five o'clock. How is this happening? There is no time. I'm gonna be putting up episodes literally of like 40 minutes of me just rearranging this place. But once I'm done, I think you're gonna be quite happy. Although next time we might do a bit of ruin diving or something just to break things up. say that I'm going to put like a pathway round like this. To go to the horses. And then I'm going to actually take planters, because I need these planters to actually properly divide up the space over here. So I know where the path is supposed to go. I'm going to take them from this side where they're not really needed for anything other than decoration. Oh yeah, three on each side. That looks good. And we'll see how out of place this, uh, this fountain actually is. Some of this is, is going to be, I need more planters really, but I am going to start uh, taking things, having some planters, because there's too many planters I think now, so I need I need a few more decorative um, boundary items like fences and things like that instead of planters all the time. I don't mind too much. 
Okay. So we've actually managed to get a fairly square space here. I'm actually going to pop that there for now. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay, it's not square at all, but that might be okay because this fountain isn't centered on either, so. Spending all this time trying to get something centered that will not center. Ever. Now, is that going to drive me mad? Probably is, isn't it? Because I'm thinking I could actually, if I wanted to, push the horse uh, stable back a bit and get myself like one extra square here of par. Let's see, like that. And then expand, expand this area out to make it a proper square. Now the problem with that then will be that the fountain won't be quite on point, but oh well, you can only do so much. You could tell us this fountain is stressing me out, can't you? It may have to go somewhere else. I mean, I could try the elephant fountains and see what they look they look like, possibly. I definitely want to do things with relics here. I think it's going to look really cool. Hello, colourful llama. Would you like to be petted? Oh no, okay then. I'll ride you. I need to do something useful in this episode. I mean, this is all good stuff. This is all good stuff. It's starting to take shape now. I've moved my pathway over. I've got some of the machines working a bit better now because they're actually on their conductive wooden flooring, etc, etc. And, uh, you know, I've got a lot of time, hopefully, to, to play around with this until the end of July when the next patch comes out. But I've got a lo lot of other things I want to do as well, though. That's the thing. So I've got social I want to do. I've got, like, play dates I want to go on. I want my llama to love me. That's enough pets for today. That's all you. That's all you're getting. You don't jump as well as Whisper, do you? No. There's poop in my stall. Clean it. Very demanding, aren't you, Llama? Whisper out as well. Whisper have a little R and R time. Whisper's so much better than that Llama. I thought I told you to stay in the stable, yeah, little punk. Right, so. Um, nom, 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 nom. Interrupt. Pet. Next patch is gonna be a pupper. Oh, with his own little storyline. As well as um, different llamas to ride. You'll be able to tame the big llama. I don't know. I really don't know like how that's going to work. How taming the big llama is going to work. Because that could be quite quite insane. Because how difficult was it to tame that original llama? Tame this one. Let alone the big boss one. It's going to be it's going to be a rough puzzle. I'm going to give. I'm I stabled you. What is going on? Get in the stable. I guess I have to wait for it to come up with stable and then do it that way. Okay, cool. It's one in the morning already. Um, why won't you go in the... Do you know what? That's fine. What I should have done is just told you to go back yourselves. There you go. Off you go. Pet. 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 Pet
pets don't, tell, don't do what you tell them, do they? Honestly. So I honestly think that the, the fountain... I don't really know how you can put that anywhere that's going to make it look decent. Still thinking that it might actually look nice if I'm doing the pathway like this. It might look nice here. So we kind of butted up to the pathway. Like there's just literally no good way to place that, is there? Because say if I put like flooring around here now, it's like... It is half a thing out, so you, you put it down. You've got this one butted up against the line, and this one half a half a unit out. So anywhere where you've put any kind of flooring, and you actually want anything to be... Oh, there we are. We, we... Okay, so this is going to be... This episode will be the fountain, and it will be Shelab complaining for the entire episode about the fountain not fitting in the space required. Please, devs, size that fountain up by half a square on each side. Just a tiny little tweak, and I would love you forever. Equally, make the door and the gates so that they line up to paths. Like, if you're giving us flooring, and the flooring comes in squares, it's going to drive everybody insane if things don't line up. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see uh, more on my time at Porsche, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.